Is it a good idea to buy the Asus Prime OC edition of the RX 9060 XT? Is it cool and quiet or hot and loud? Let's find out. The package is sealed at the factory on both sides. Let's cut that open. This is a pretty nice box for an MSRP graphics card. Nice presentation. This doesn't feel cheap at all. Take a look at this. A thank you card from Asus. and a quick start guide. Illustrations in uh, multiple languages. All right. The foam is pretty thick as well. Take a look at that. That is a good protection during shipping. What is this? Is there anything here? Nope. Nothing in there. There are no accessories here, just the graphics card. The card comes in a standard plastic bag and sealed with a piece of tape. Looks good. I can't believe this is an MSRP model. Hmm. Okay. First, we'll have to peel the tape. There's a lot of protection here. Let's do that now. I'll have to use a knife to peel this. It could have included a pull tab somewhere, but no. And it was pretty much impossible to use. The card comes with three display connections, which is unusual. Usually we see four. One HDMI 2.1 and two DisplayPort 2.1 connections. And let's not forget to remove these. At least we have a pull tab over here. Nice and convenient. I am well impressed with the materials and the design so far. 
take a look at this metal backplate plastic shroud but it doesn't look cheap it looks nice it's pretty good plastic on this side too the GPU gets its power from this single 8-pin connector over here well it's roughly located in the middle of the GPU a little bit to the right Asus recommends at least a 550 watt power supply to pair with this graphics card and surprisingly we have dual BIOS performance mode and quiet mode by default the graphics card is set to the performance mode. The heatsink is fairly large, but take a look at the PCB. It is quite short, which gave Asus a possibility to actually make this cutout, although I don't understand why they didn't make it bigger for better airflow. Take a look at that. There is more space here for a bigger cutout. Surprisingly, this heatsink uses just two heat pipes. They're piercing through the heatsink over here, and the same two heat pipes also come round and pierce the heatsink on this side as well. You can see it in there. All essential components are actively cooled the GPU as well as the video memory chips are cooled by this heat plate actively and even the power delivery system gets its cooling right there and right here you can see the thermal pad over there nice let's check the size the Asus Prime is 304 millimeters long and 127 millimeters tall it's not too thick by modern standards two and a half slots that's manageable that's not three or four slots like some other graphics cards on the market. Here's what it looks like inside of a PC. No RGBs, just simple, minimalistic design, all black. And the logos aren't screaming either. Asus over here, Radeon logo over there. This graphics card will look good in pretty much any PC. Despite its large appearance, this card is quite light, hence why we don't need any GPU support. Yeah, not needed. As you can see, there is no flex at all. And there is no weight to it. So yeah, just the normal bracket and the PCIe slot configuration holds this graphics card well. In terms of gaming performance, the RX 9060 XT is quite versatile thanks to its generous 16GB of video memory. For the best experience, I recommend pairing this graphics card with a 1440p monitor. However, thanks to the new FSR 4 resolution upscaling feature, you can also use this GPU with a 4K or ultra-wide 3440x1440p monitor. 1080p is also a viable option. I made comprehensive dedicated videos testing the 9060 XT at various resolutions. Check them out at the links in the description below to learn more. Now on to the most important part. How does this graphics card behave during gaming under full load? And we'll also do a noise test. Starting with the performance mode, and then we'll check out the quiet mode as well. The room temperature is slightly above 22 degrees Celsius. That is almost 73 degrees Fahrenheit. 
and the GPU is indeed fully loaded. The power consumption is at around 175 watts, which is typical for this graphics card. The GPU temperature is at 49 degrees, with the GPU hotspot at 72 degrees. The GPU fan speed is just below 1700 RPM, which is not bad, pretty good actually. And the GPU core clock is at 28, 64, 62 megahertz. Also note that we are at 43 FPS because uh, when we test the quiet mode on this graphics card, we'll have to see if we are actually losing any performance by using the quiet mode instead of performance. Now let's check the noise level. The noise is very subtle at around 39 decibel. This graphics card is quiet even in the performance mode because the noise that's coming from it is just like a general noise from all of the fans in this system. And uh, this is a Be Quiet PC case with premium Be Quiet silent fans. I'm pretty impressed that even in the performance mode, this graphics card performs really well in terms of noise. What's impressing me is the lack of noise, of course. Now I'll switch the graphics card to the quiet mode. That's all the way to the right. There we go. That's done. The room temperature remains pretty much the same, just below 23 degrees Celsius, 73 degrees Fahrenheit. And the quiet mode is actually quite impressive because it lowered the fan speed by a lot. We are now below 1000 RPM. The GPU power consumption is the same. The performance is pretty much the same as well. So we've lost less than 2% of performance. That is reflected in the GPU core clock speed, which is around 20 to 30 megahertz lower. No big deal. The GPU temperature is 58 degrees Celsius. The hotspot is at 81 degrees. That is normal, very safe, nothing to worry about. Let's test the noise. Wow, that is actually quite impressive. While I wasn't able to perceive too much difference with my own ears, between the performance and the quiet mode, but obviously even looking at the measurements on the performance mode, we had 39 decibel noise level. On the quiet mode now we have 35 to 36 decibel, which is lower, means quieter, and we haven't lost any performance, so the quiet mode is the clear winner. It is well worth using the quiet mode on this graphics card. In conclusion, I am impressed with the Asus Prime OC edition of the RX 9060 XT. This is a good graphics card. It looks good, it has good cooling, it is quiet, and it has double bias. With the performance and the quiet modes. So it's good to have options. If you want a quieter environment, you can achieve it with this graphics card. Basically, you don't need to spend more on a higher tier 9060 XT. The prime version is good enough. It gets my recommendation. And if you're interested in this graphics card or any other products featured in this video, you can find them on Amazon at the links in the description below. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this graphics card. And if you found this video helpful, then don't forget to reward my work with a like. It helps me out tremendously. 
and subscribe for more videos like this if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.